Holy Capricorns, welcome to your love reading for October 2023. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorder or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guys, universe. Can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Capricorns? For love for October 2023, what do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages? Thank you for the two cards you have provided. Can you please provide one additional card for Capricorns? One additional card for Capricorns for the month of October. What do you see? What do they need to know? Alrighty. Okay, just a few things I need to mention before we get into the reading. Um, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. In that spread, I'll have something you do not know about them in addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else. In my playlist, your 2024 Sun Moon readings, yes, I continue to put them out. I got a little bit behind. Put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2023s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or somebody else and then let me know. I always like to hear that. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe donate refer a friend and support of my efforts always greatly appreciated let's get to your reading so capricorns it looks like um prior to october uh you're dealing with somebody that isn't necessarily showing themselves for who they actually are i don't know if this person is trying to dupe you i don't know if this person is cheating i don't know if this person's manipulating you but whatever they're kind of showing on the surface is not to be trusted um they might be trying to convince you of something of doing something um really kind of scattered energy they might be kind of all over the place and you really can't kind of pin them down or you i'm sorry we talked about in the past you couldn't pin them down or quite figure that them out but whatever however they're being um they're being deceptive i don't feel like they're telling you the whole truth so this may be somebody um that you might want to reconsider um <laughs> now and i don't know we'll wait until we see what the clarifiers have to say now we have the six of candles in reverse for energies in october um, and what I feel that you're getting from this, that whatever this person's energy is, it almost seems as though they're not, um, they're not giving you, they're not matching your energy. I feel like it's less than. So, you know, I, I feel as though you're, you're trying to approach them or you're trying to connect with them and they tend to withdraw or they tend to not communicate with you or so this has you kind of saying to yourself, why is this person doing this to me? I'm putting all these efforts forward and I feel like I'm being, you know, uh, punished for not having done anything. I feel like they're not acknowledging me. Now I'm starting to doubt myself. Now I'm starting to lack confidence. Now I'm thinking I'm not going to be victorious in this. So not only are they being deceptive, I feel like they're kind of blowing you off and I feel like that's kind of affecting you also. Um, as you move forward out of October into November with the three of candles in reverse, I'm seeing that huge communication problems going on with this person. Um, they could be at a distance from you. It could be a long distance relationship of some sort, but I feel as though you're dumping a lot of energy into it and you're kind of saying, why am I even bothering when I'm not getting anything back? You just feel like your efforts are wasted. You feel like the whole connection is, is not going anywhere or just being um, set back further and further. And I don't really feel like you think Think there's an opportunity there i mean i think this person is making it very difficult for you to pin them down or to communicate with them or find out things about them and uh, you all are pretty much kind of you know fact finders you want to you want to know um kind of what's going on for the most part and i don't feel like this person is keeping you very well informed um in regards to them or anything about them so let's see what's going on with this magician card in reverse why is the magician card here in reverse or capricorns who's this person what's this energy Okay, we had the two of swords and the reverse. Okay, so, so you're already feeling that things are a little bit amiss and you're feeling as though, okay, I don't feel like this is gonna end well. I think you were kind of saying that you eventually are gonna have to decide something and it probably isn't going to be something that you're gonna wanna decide upon because the options you have or this person's making available to you just aren't very pleasant, but you are kind of feeling down the line, you're gonna to have to decide that this thing's gonna to have to end eventually um, or in some form um, until you get more information. It seems like you just don't really have much to work with. This person's not giving you much to work with. Um, 
but you do try to communicate with them. I do, I do see that you were trying to communicate with them, um, you know, sending them texts, trying to call them, trying to communicate with them any way you could uh, to move things forward. I don't necessarily feel like they are reciprocating this communication. I feel as you are excessively kind of doing, you were excessively kind of doing it and, you know, they weren't. Or you were the ones that always was the one to reach out and, you know, you got a little, or you were getting a little tired of that pattern. Additional message for the Magician card or yeah so um i do see you watching them you were watching them very carefully or trying you might have actually tried to find your own facts so did a little fact finding of your own went on social media asked people about them you're very curious because they aren't being very forthcoming about anything about them or where they came from or what they're doing or anything like that so i think you were feeling like you didn't have any choice but to do your own detective work um I don't know if that ended up yielding anything, but we'll see. Um, why is this Six of Candles in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Another thing is you just really don't think this is going to be very successful. And I think also because the way that they're behaving with the Strength card in reverse, which is the card of Leo, it's just making you feel very less for them. Like I said, not confident you know questioning yourself wondering you know what's wrong with me starting to feel very insecure because of that because of their actions or making you feel a certain way um not feeling like this this whatever this is is actually going to take off um can't get a gauge on how they feel about you i see you with the two of wands and the upright kind of saying should i stay or should i go should i keep on putting energies into this person um because i have been talking to them and i have invested in them to a degree or maybe it's time for me to look for something else a partnership that is more um you know that has more possibilities to it but you're not doing anything in October you're just kind of kind of waiting to see how things kind of flesh out before you decide how you're going to move forward in the future I do see a full card in the up upright I feel as though you're you know kind of willing um to have a new beginning with this person but again I just feel like they're not kind of giving you anything um a part of you I almost sense a part of you, for some of you, are kind of thinking, oh, it's all in my head. You know, I'm just fearful because other stuff. I should just cast off those fears, try to see things for what they really are, just take this journey step by step. So I do feel you're trying to be lighthearted about it and not get somber, not get serious, you know, because you feel like that's going to kind of get the best of you. But I do think you're reading this person correctly. Why is the three candles here? Why is the three candles here? Okay, Temperance card in reverse, the card is Sagittarius. This is where you're more and more negative uh, negativity is kind of creeping into the situation. And you're it's just throwing off your balance. You're having a hard time kind of seeing how this is going to end in a positive way. Um, you know, everything is imbalanced, misaligned between you and this other person. Um, it's just a little too much. So, I, I mean, I don't, I feel this is where the cookie is starting to crumble um, out of October into November. Um, additional messages for the three of candles or reverse who's this person okay so you're starting to really judge this situation very clearly um, at this point you're kind of looking at how everything has kind of played itself out in the past and leading up to this point very clear eyes and saying to yourself look you know the writing is on the wall here this person is showing me who they are and I should actually believe who they are and make a very definitive decision in regards to how I'm going to move forward and not look back um, one more yeah I, this star card in the upright kind of tells me that this person's not for you and you know that there's somebody else out there somebody better for you um star card is the card of aquarius but i feel as though you're saying this is not the person for me but i have all the faith and all the hope that that person actually is out there awaiting me um this is not the person that i'm intended to shine with um and even though they taught me a lot of lessons um i'm very resilient i know i'm going to move on from this and i really think you're going to have a positive outlook as you move on from this person and just feel like this person has you like in a whirlpool and nothing's kind of happening and and nothing is very straightforward so um you're going to move on and you're going to find that person that you're intended to be with so that's what i have for you, all you capricorns if it does resonate consider a personal pre-recorder or live reading just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715 otherwise make sure you click on the video link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling um also in that spread i'll have something you do not know about them in addition to if they're seeing or interested 
interested in somebody else in my playlist your 2024 sun moon readings they are going to continue to come out i got behind i apologize but keep on putting your requests in the comments and i will put them in queue uh 2023s are still in there see if they rang true for you or someone else and then finally look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate refer a friend in support of my efforts it's always greatly appreciated otherwise capricorns i will see you in the vimeo adios from veronica garnett bye